Hi hey everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris. So, let's continue where we left off. We're basically waiting for the fleet upgrade right now. Once this is done, I will likely declare war on my neighbors to vassalize them. I also hired a governor on my biggest planet. He will make the blocker removal a little bit cheaper and faster. And does that. Let's continue then. Maximum speed and special project complete, right. That's the terraforming project, right? Change planet class to toxic, destroy the colony. What? Okay, that's not so good. The aborted terraforming process, blah, blah, blah. Oh. Well, that's not so good. Their physiology was radically different from ours. The moon has been modified to support ammonia-based life, and all our colonies have suffered gruesome deaths. Okay then, well, so much for that colony. <laughs> they had a bad time. Well then, that happened. Let's get the engineering research at least. We can get a research station. <laughs> That's the planet now. It's toxic. Alright, at least we still have our border here. We didn't actually lose anything. Other than the colonies. <laughs> And we got one unemployed person. What can we build here? We could always use more energy, I suppose. Or I could build a science lab. Perhaps. Nah, let's get the power plant. We will need energy in the future. That's for sure. In fact, maybe I should build some defense stations. That wouldn't be a bad idea. We should get a defense station around Earth, at least. Sounds like a plan. Let's do that. So, how much is that going to cost us? 2.40 energy in maintenance. That's not too bad. I guess we can do that. Let's check the design, because you can actually modify the design. Let's Research have a look. Complete. We can pause for a moment. Where is it? Defense platform, defense station. Let's see. Scout wing. We can replace that with Ameba Flagella. Like this. Okay, and I suppose that will do. Oh yeah, I can also change this. Subspace snare. Plus 400% jump charge time. Minus 50% sublight speed, plus 100 emergency FTL jump cooldown. Yeah, I think I like that one. I'm okay with this. And we can increase sensor range. And we could install some shields if we want to. I guess. Well, we need more power. Obviously. But we can install some shields. Just don't go overboard. Okay, we can do better than that. 20 power. Can we do even better? Minus 10. There we go. Nah, that's also plus 20. Okay, replace the small one? No. Yeah, okay, this is fine. So, save. Yep, save. Sounds good. And we can build a few stations. Well, just one around Earth for now. Alright, let's do that. How much is that going to cost us now? 700. 6.12 monthly maintenance. That is more expensive. System survey but I kind of need a decent station around Earth. At least around Earth. Yeah, let's just build it. I can always remove it later. Our research is done. That's the bio lab. What can we get next? Genetic modification. Environmental adaptation. Plus one trade point. Yeah, that is useful. You can change some of your pops with this. Arctic colonization. We don't need that. I guess we'll go for gene tailoring. I could grab a plus 10% naval capacity, that's a cheap tech. Let's grab that one. That won't take very long. Less than one year. 
All right. Science ships aren't doing anything. But I think I surveyed everything by now. Yeah, I think I did. Yep, looks like we surveyed everything. Construction complete. All right, carry on then. How's Earth doing? Still getting some cruisers. And how's our upgrade progress? 33%. So, one third done. And we finished the Frontier Outpost. Good. All right, we almost got that system over here. This one isn't really that good. I mostly cared about these three. Let's send construction ships right away. And get all that science. That's a lot of science. So, research stations. Yep, off you go. Embassy recalled? Yeah, I don't really care about that. Let's check our relations with our neighbors. We won't be able to join the alliance yet. Oh, they just got vassalized while I was looking at the diplomacy. These guys are the Federation president right now, I think. Yep, they are. Minus 33. Do they have any rivals? I don't think so. Alright, maybe in the future. They are also pacifists, so we should be able to maintain good relations. And we got someone unemployed. Let's have a look. We should remove that blocker, I suppose. What can we build here? Atmospheric manipulator, nope. Well, actually, we should build that somewhere. But where? On our biggest planet, I think. It sounds good. That will cost us 350 minerals. Two energy maintenance. I think it can wait a little bit. There's no huge rush. Upgrade the power plants. And clear some more blockers. We can upgrade the farm. How are the cruisers doing? Still building. And we should upgrade the science lab. Or the bio lab. Yep, let's check all the planets really quickly. Should probably build something here as well. We don't need a power hub. Do we need royal gardens on this planet? House happiness. Yeah, we could actually use that. 85% habitability. Let's build royal gardens. Why not? 170 influence right now. Not amazing. More upgrades. Like so. And more upgrades. I'm prioritizing the power plants. Mining network. Let's see, which kind of research do we want the most? We can grab a biolab. Next stop. Upgrade the farm. And next. Research complete. How's this planet doing? Seems to be doing okay. Another science lab. Research is done. Let's pause for a second. Only plus one food here. Yeah, we need one more farm from the looks of it. Need to remove one of the blockers in that case. Where's the colonial building? Which one is it? This one, I think. No, that's the science lab. Yeah, hold on, where is the... Oh, right here, right. Okay. Fine. Cleared some blockers. So, how's that research? Engineering facility 2. What can we research next? Better armor, impulse froster, fusion missiles... I think I'll go for the froster. That will increase our evasion. 7,000 is a lot, though. However, I don't really care about the missiles. Yep, let's go for the froster. How's the upgrade? 67%, so two-thirds done. Just need to wait a little bit longer. And back to our newest frontier outpost real quick. Research stations. Off you go. The defense platform is done. It will cost us quite a bit in maintenance, but I needed a defense station around Earth. At least it's a pretty decent one. So, yeah. I can always demolish it. 
in the future. If I need energy really badly. But we're keeping it for now. Our research is already done. Plus 5 years, leader lifespan, form federation, minus 15% ship upgrade cost, plus 10% naval capacity. Let's go for this one because it's the cheapest. Okay, carry on. Oh yeah, we just finished the cruiser. I think we can get one more. We should have enough time for that, or we can get a quick corvette. Or we can get another colony ship. Actually, hold on. We still got some planets that we can colonize in this area, right? Yeah, like this one. That's inside the sector. We should colonize that for sure. Yep, let's just get a colony ship. And we'll colonize that planet. We have enough energy to maintain that. All right. Our fleet is looking pretty good. How's our admiral? Plus 5% evasion, plus 20% speed. All right. 80%. Our fleet should be much stronger now. Let's see. Inferior, pathetic. Yeah, their fleet power is pathetic compared to ours. But there's one more thing we need which is a land army. You can build defensive and offensive armies. You can't move defense army anywhere. It has to stay on the planet. So we need an assault army. We should probably get some defensive armies on most of our planets. They are cheap, only 30 minerals. So I guess we'll do that. Yep, we'll get a few on every single planet. It takes a while to actually recruit them. So it's good to have some preemptively. All right. And unemployment? Right, this person over here. Power plant? Probably a power plant, yeah. I have a feeling we'll need more power plants. Do we want to wait for a power hub here? No, this planet isn't getting that much energy. Plus 11. Not worth getting a power hub. We'll just get a regular power plant. All right, and clear that blocker, I suppose, once we get enough minerals. Clear. Do we have any more blockers? This one, it's already queued up. And upgrade. That's the engineering facility. Okay, looks good. Keep recruiting. So, are we done? Almost done, 97%. Army recruitment finished. That was the defensive one, though. <laughs> yes, it was. There we go, we finished the upgrade. That's over 5,000 total fleet strength. Now we just need to merge them. And our war goal here will be to vassalize these guys. Shouldn't be too hard. What's going on? Ethnic changes. But what is the effect going to be? Alright. No effect for now, I guess. The governor gained a trade. Nice. Not sure what that does. I guess we can find the governor and find out. That's in Empire Leaders. Which governor was it? They all only have one trade. It won't be listed here? I guess it won't be listed here. I don't remember the name. Okay, it doesn't matter. Back to construction ship real quick. Yep, still need to build a few things. I'm prioritizing the research stations right now. Alright, carry on. Just waiting for the fleet to merge. They are right next to each other. Come on, people. Just merge already. There we go. Almost 6,000. Alright, let's declare war then. Not much point waiting any longer. That's going to be the first war. 
So our war goal is going to be vassalize. We need 60 war score. Yep, confirm. And now we are at war. As you can see. And we will attack them right away. I could split the fleet in half, just in case they decide to also attack one of my planets. But we can also just build more cruisers and use them for defense, if it's going to be necessary. Oh yeah, I don't actually have enough minerals to start a cruiser right now. <laughs> That's fine. We'll wait. Now, we are pacifists, which means we will have some penalties, because we are at war. But we can handle it. As you can see, minus 10% war happiness. Which will reduce everyone's productivity. But we can handle it. We got over 1000 energy stored up. So, let's follow our fleet. They are still moving. Alright. Pause. That's the system with our, whatever it was, a shrine or something like that? For that event. Oh, and colony ship. Right, let's send it to colonize that planet. This one right here? Probably. Yep, sure. That was actually a pretty decent one from what I remember. Yeah, that's a pretty good planet. Should have colonized it earlier, probably. But better late than never. That's part of the reason why I'm losing energy, because we got a colony ship and got that costs 8 energy updated. per month. Let's pause for a moment. What's this? Winning offensive war. Due to our... Oh yeah, right. I should change that policy. Promising officer. A new admiral has been added to the leader pool. Nice. Right, hold on. Let's check the policies. War economy. Yeah, we should change this to static, otherwise we'll get a penalty for winning an offensive war. And I don't want that, so change it to static. There. It's no longer active. Oh, so this is timed right now. Maybe I should send the science ship. Pause. Trade offer. Too many things going on at the same time. Pause this exactly. And do I care? Yeah, where exactly are these guys? Oh, these guys over here. I don't really want to do that. Can we focus on the war yet? Thanks, that would be great. So just destroy all of this scrap. That's why we're here after all. And I can send a science ship. There's the special project. This is what we need. So we need a level 5 scientist for that from the looks of it. No, skill free or higher. Alright, let's send the scientist right away. Just change stance to passive instead of evasive. Yeah, it's on passive. Okay. And I need to keep an eye on the area. Actually, I should attack this place first. No, that's a research station, not a defensive platform or anything like that. We'll destroy all of this. Okay, and how's that offensive army? I don't think this is enough, we need a few more. So let's get a few more. And we can start building a ship? A cruiser. Not that one, Ameba Boat Class. I should probably rename that a bit. Looking good so far. I mean, their fleet strength was, what, pathetic compared to mine? Wait, this is our special... Wait, what? There are two special projects in this system. Okay, that's interesting. Our research is done. So what's next? Minus 10% army upkeep. Okay. But wait, I think that's just the land army. Military academy. Well, this is the most useful tech we can research right now, so might as well grab that. And it's a cheap one, so it will be done quickly. Right. No planets to actually attack here, right? Yeah, no planets. Alright. This is going to be a rather one-sided war. But we pretty much knew that. What's this? 
Is that a wormhole station? No, I don't want to change the system. That is a wormhole station, right? Yeah, so they use wormhole travel too. Good to know. We'll get rid of it and let's move on to the next system. This will take a moment from the looks of it. I could send a second science ship. I mean, we might as well do that, I suppose? Sure, we might as well do that. Alright. Let's keep an eye on our fleet in case something funny happens. This is not very impressive. They do have an actual planet here, so we will have to invade that. And we should destroy the wormhole station. One of the best ways to cripple an empire logistically is destroy all of their wormhole stations. It doesn't take very long to rebuild them, but it's very, very annoying if you are on the receiving end. So while wormhole travel is nice, it's kind of easy to cripple you logistically. Because while rebuilding wormhole stations is pretty fast, destroying them is also really easy. It doesn't take a lot of time at all. So we'll get rid of this. And then start sieging the planet. We'll have to wait a little bit to destroy the planetary shield. And then we can invade the actual planet. So we'll have to stay in orbit for a bit. How's that project? Construction complete. Are we done here yet? Mm, not quite. Still underway. It's about to finish. Right here. There, it's done. So what did we get? Plus one specimens collected. Society research gained. Okay. Well then. Carry on. And okay, what's this? Old gods. Revelation. The complete doctrine of the gods. For that is what we recovered. What the recovered texts have to be regarded as dwarfing the fairy tale scraps upon which the Terran Alliance religions were founded, blah blah blah. Okay, what are the actual options? Gain 80 influence, gain 1500 energy, or 350 society research. Okay, that is quite a bit of influence. And also a lot of energy. I'm tempted to take the energy. 350 society research isn't that much when we're getting 77 per month. 1500 energy, however, is quite a lot. Let's go for the energy. Yep, sounds good. I like that. And that's 2500 now. Alright, and back to our war. We can focus on that 100% now. Get rid of that. And start sieging the planet and send the science ships to grab the debris. Off you go. So now we have to reduce planetary fortifications to zero, and then send an actual army to assault the planet. We might need more, because these are really basic troops. You can get better armies with some techs, but we don't have any techs that would actually improve them. So yeah. I hope one army will be enough. It should be enough. Also, I can't change orbital bombardment because of my policies. I can always change the policy itself, obviously. So, construction ships, mining stations, and we can still get some society research in that other system. Just queue that up. Alright, and back to the war. Not much of a war, to be honest. Bit of a one-sided one. It will be down to zero soon enough. We already got 22% war score, even though I didn't take a single planet. They don't actually have a lot of planets. They only have three planets, from the looks of it, and this is their home world, right here. Okay. Research complete. And research is already done, nice. 
Military Academy. Plus two Empire Leader Capacity, Genetic Modification. I think we'll go for Genetic Modification. Yep, plus one trade points. Sounds good. All right. So what we can do is once we get one point here, we'll be able to modify any of these pops. So I could take the biggest pop I have with 179 pops and modify the traits using this point right here. That's what it does. I'll show you once we actually get that point, I suppose. All right, how's that siege going? It's almost down to zero. All right, let's grab our army. I hope this is going to be enough. Only one way to find out. So now we can embark all, and that gives us a transport fleet. It usually needs an escort, but we are right next to the system, and there are no threats. It doesn't need an escort here. If I had to move through enemy territory, then they would need an escort of some kind. Let's use maximum speed. I'd like to invade the planet before I actually finish this episode. Shouldn't take long. We should be able to win. Hostile fleet present? Oh. That wasn't much of a fleet, I suppose. Let's start another cruiser, maybe. I'm a boat class cruiser. Here they come. Research complete. And the research is already done. Oh yeah, that unlocks the planetary shield generator. Oh, sentient AI. Dangerous technology, but plus 10% research speed is so good. There aren't a lot of dangerous technologies, unfortunately. I was kind of disappointed with how few dangerous technologies there are. This is one of them. I think we'll go for that one. Permanent plus 10% research speed is so good. Yep, let's go for that one. I like that. So, let's check that invasion. Land armies. Fingers crossed. I think this will be enough, but only one way to find out, I guess. Remember that we have a penalty because we are weak, so we are not very good at ground combat. Yeah, I think I'll need more than this. We actually made contact with someone. Sorry, bro, I'm busy right now. Yeah, I think we'll have to retreat and send more. Or maybe, maybe. This is going to be close. I I think we have enough. Yeah, we have enough. Good, I was worried for a moment. And we have successfully captured the planet. That doesn't mean it's actually ours, by the way. We are just occupying the planet. 42%. I'll have to take one more. But we are going to do that in the next episode. Thanks for watching this one, and I'll see you next time.